Traders, this is Adam Harris, ambassador to FX Globe. So this last week, we saw, or at least this week, we saw the UK claimant count change significantly, higher indicating increased joblessness. The Kiwi's official cash rate held steady, whilst the US CPI data came in lower than expected, which negatively impacted the US dollar. Thursday, we then saw a dip in the UK's GDP figures, and overall, the US dollar experienced a large decline this week, seeing Euro and GBP and other majors shoot higher, which also then bolstered metals, crude oils, cryptos, and the global indices, which means that all in all, the market had a really good week to the upside. Then preparing for next week. So on the news front for Monday, watching the US dollar Empire State Manufacturing Index is forecasted to drop. And then Tuesday has Aussie dollar monetary policy meeting minutes and Canadian CPI data. And then retail sales data from the US, which could also indicate the health of the US consumer sector. On Wednesday, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the UK CPI data. And then Thursday brings Australian job figures as well. And then we wrap with the US unemployment claims on Thursday. Technically, traders would benefit from staying with the current trends and then preparing for natural retracements. So I'm Adam for FX Globe. Keep calm and carry on trading.